What is going on guys? Greggles TV. If you did not know, Google has come out with their own podcast app called Google Podcast. You can go into the Google Play Store, search for it, download it, install it. Um, it's going to remember all the podcasts you listen to because it's attached to your Google account. So when you get a new phone or whatever, you can pick up where you left off with all your podcasts. Uh, it's really cool and it's free. And uh, the only thing I notice right off the bat is that it doesn't allow you to watch video podcasts at the time of me filming this. Maybe that will change. Uh, but right now you cannot watch video podcasts on here. Not really the end of the world for me because I honestly, I don't watch any video podcasts. So let's open the app up. And I've already subscribed to a bunch of my uh, podcasts. And uh, when you subscribe, it brings it on. This is the main page of the Google Podcast app. And it shows three, six, nine, 12 apps per page. Uh, 12 podcasts per page, I should say. And then you have to cycle through the pages. You can see I have two pages. And uh, the other thing on here, so if you want to, you can actually customize this so you would go into three dots up here and hit edit your podcast. It shows all your podcasts right in here and say if I want one of these on the first page, all I do is just click and drag it to where I want it. So I'm just going to click and drag and maybe I want it right there when I'm done or you can also delete too. So say this is a, uh, one I don't want, I'll just press that and then I can hit the trash in the top right and that will delete the podcast so that it's no longer in my list of podcasts. But regardless, you can see I removed reply all. Now it's that's on the first page. So uh, once you click on a podcast, uh, I'm already subscribed, obviously. I can look at all the podcasts that are here for availability to listen to. When I click on the podcast, I can play the episode, which is going to me allow me to stream it. I can click this downward arrow, and that's going to download it to my phone so I can listen to it at a later, later time. I can also mark it as played. If I hit the three dots in the top right, I can go into settings within this and uh, downloads will automatically remove completed episodes after 24 hours and also remove unfinished episodes after 30 days. That way it doesn't clog up your phone if you're worried about it, um, you know, just using up space on your phone. And let's go back here. So again, this is my main page. The other cool thing I like about this is on the main page, it gives you all your new episodes that you can listen to no matter what the, what the podcast is. You can see it shows three at a time. If I hit all new episodes, these are all the episodes I can listen to if I need to and uh, without having to go search the specific podcast to see if there's a new episode. It just gives me them all right here. I really like that. I think that's a nice, a easy way to find and listen to podcasts. I can hit play from here as well, or I can click on the episode and download it. Uh, hit the three arrows and mark it as played or play the episode. I love that. I think that's really, really cool. You can also look at if there's any podcasts uh, that have, you've started that you haven't maybe uh, finished. And uh, you can start off right from in progress. Uh, so I love that. Again, that's pretty damn cool. And uh, that's an easy way to find all your unfinished podcasts that maybe you started, but you didn't finish. This is going to show you all your downloaded episodes. I don't have any because I always stream them. I have unlimited data. I don't, and I'm usually always next to an internet connection, so I don't have to worry about that. The other thing, go back to the main page here, when you swipe down, this is where it sure starts showing you the browse feature. So if you're not sure exactly which podcast you're listening to, you can browse for them. It shows you the top podcasts here, about 10 or so. Uh, I'll show you trending podcasts, top podcasts in comedy, culture, news. And the other cool thing, besides it just giving you these different categories, it actually starts giving you podcasts that you might like because maybe like, for instance, I want, um, following the startup podcast. So it's saying popular with listeners that listen to startup, they listen to these podcasts. And if I want to subscribe to it, maybe I want to do Dear Sugars, I just press on it and then hit subscribe and it'll show in my list of podcasts. So that's really cool. I like that kind of browse feature that it gives you and allows you to uh, just find new podcasts without maybe knowing what the podcast is just because other listeners listen to those podcasts. So they give you that option to find podcasts. The other cool thing, you got search up here. You can search for any podcast. So it, maybe I want one about um, Apple or iPhones. I'll just type iPhone. And as I type it, it starts to bring up podcasts that have those letters in it. You can see I have iPhone, I'm gonna hit search, and it shows me all the episodes, or, or episodes or podcasts that have the word iPhone in it, and I can instantly either click on it and subscribe, I can click the play button and start listening. Um, so it's real quick and easy to get yourself situated and searching for podcasts 
uh, the other I did settings let me see my other settings yes yeah, not really a lot of um, you oh, the other thing you can't I, at least I didn't see it you can't automatically uh, download podcast to your phone you have to physically manually do it uh, yourself it doesn't automatically set it to always download I, I would like that feature added I'd also like the feature to be able to um, uh, uh, to watch video podcasts I think that needs to be added when you do play a podcast uh, you can go in here and you can hit play you can rewind 10 seconds if need be or 30 seconds ahead you can also drag it you can also make it go faster or slower so that's cool, you get a little bit of functionality with uh, playing and controlling the podcast, but that's pretty much it for this podcast app. It's real simple, real easy to use, it's free. If you wanna download it, download it now. I like it, I'm actually gonna make it my podcast app. Um, I was using Pocket Cast, which I like, a little bit buggy sometimes, and uh, they also got bought by NPR, which is awesome, because NPR makes really good podcasts, so I can only see it getting better and better. Uh, but in that, pod, Pocket Cast actually does will play a uh, uh, video podcast so if you're looking for something that plays video podcast check out the pocket cast app but otherwise this is perfect for me i'm going to keep this one it has all the podcasts i listen to so if you want to download it download it now i'll link it down below thanks for watching guys i'll see you down the road peace